Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into a trophy pushing episode inside of Clash Royale, where this is going to be the season where we make our biggest push ever. Now, currently I'm at 5,521, and if you take a look right now, uh, my best ever was 5,806, and the reason I haven't been able to push higher is because I've been busy every single time the season ends, but at the end of this season, I have absolutely nothing going on, so this is going to be my biggest push ever, and in honor of that, let's go ahead and take the number one deck today and see if we can pick up some wins using it now i'm gonna check it out hopefully it's a good deck looks like it's gonna be a combo graveyard deck that we're actually super used to so let's go ahead and try out the number one deck in the world as we make our trophy push and like i said this is gonna be the biggest push i've ever done normally like at the end of last season i have some sort of commitment like my sister's wedding the weekend before or the season before that i was at supercell hq but in this season i really have a ton of opportunity uh, to make my biggest push ever so let's just go ahead and make it the best one we can possibly do skeletons to help kill this goblin barrel right here that's going to work out pretty well. And we're probably playing one of those annoying cycle decks. So let's just get ready for, you know, whatever might happen. So Graveyard's going to go down now. This could be what we need. Let's actually tornado everything together right here. Hopefully our bowler can actually knock this stuff out. Bowler's going to lock onto that princess. Very nicely done. And in the end, we're not really going to get too much tower damage. The bowler, if it ever throws its rock, is going to actually miss the tower and eventually lock on. That's going to mean a couple of bowls right there. It's going to be a little bit late on this Goblin Barrel, actually, so we're going to take some damage there. Huh. Interesting start to the game. Not our best start to the game. We've been a little bit slow on our placements. Okay, he's playing this Rocket Cycle deck. That's really, really annoying, but we can go ahead and try to deal with it the best we can. Here goes our Baby Dragon right here, and what does he have to counter this Baby Dragon? I feel like he doesn't have much. He has to play the Inferno Tower. The Inferno Tower is going to do its thing. Let's just let that Inferno Tower burn down right there. And, uh, okay, there goes this, wait, is this Inferno Tower in range of our skeletons? I hope not. No, we're gonna take out that princess, luckily. But we still will take two hits on our tower, so... We're really gonna have to find a way to make this work. Now, Knight, if it gets rocketed, isn't the w worst thing in the world. So let's just let the Knight run down the lane. And seeing what he's gonna do, we just have to keep calm right now. We have to find a way to outpace this deck. And we actually get stronger as we go into Double Elixir. So here goes our push. Everything's going down right here. Poison Spell's going down on that Goblin Gang. This should be really nice. Mega Minion did not get caught up by the tower. So all these Skeletons are about to lock on and do some crazy damage. His Log's gonna go down, but Mega Minion still has some good HP left. That tower's gonna get crushed down pretty low right there. And all in all, a nice little defense. Let's see what he wants to do next. And if he's going to consider doing something a little bit crazy. Now, Baby Dragon's going to go down. Is he going to play Goblin Barrel? Because we'll play our Tornado if so. But Baby Dragon's going to just keep running through. He's actually not going to end up playing anything else. I'm going to go ahead and Tornado his Goblin Barrel. Hopefully this works out really well for us. King Tower's going to get activated. Very nicely done. Let's go ahead and go with another Graveyard Push right here. And maybe this can do something. Now, unfortunately, I messed that up. I should have played the Graveyard closer up that would have gone much better for us so instead this could actually be a little bit of a problem um he's got a nice counter push right now so let's just make sure we don't do anything too crazy skeletons knight to do work against this goblin barrel he might play a rocket um but no this is gonna actually be okay okay rocket's gonna go down right now and this might be where we make our game winning push so here we go Everything is going to lock on in a moment. Actually, no. We sort of just messed that up again. Bowler's going to lock on. Poison spell is going to go down. Princess is going to be annoying and try to lock onto our skeletons. But this is this is going to be tough. He can rocket us down in a moment, which will end our chance at a victory. So let's get ready with our baby dragon. And this has to be what wins us. Okay, that was bad. Inferno Tower is going to lock on right now. Bowler plus Knight. We're going to have a lot of rocket damage go down. He does have the rocket, which could actually end this game right here. Poison spell is going to go down. Rocket takes it down to just a little bit of HP left. Is this going to be enough to end the game? Log's going to go down. Oh. Oh. GG, well played. Wow. One of the most annoying decks in the game. So I, I feel, feel pretty lucky to get the win right there. But that was such a pain. He almost cycled me to death. That was absurd. Well, we ended up winning the battle, which is all that matters in the very end. Let's go ahead and go into battle number two, but that one was a nail biter. I forgot my poison was ticking on the tower and I thought that log was gonna take me out. So my heart skipped a beat right there. Maybe it was the Red Bull I had earlier, but still things are looking good. That's one and oh, which is all that matters. Let's get into battle number two against Sergeant Richard and see if we can keep our streak alive. Okay, let's do it. Let's see how we want to do this. Um, I'll start with my skeletons. See what Sergeant Richard's gonna go ahead and bring out. Skeletons are going to split. He's going to play his giant, which means I'll go ahead and... I'm so bad! That graveyard was so bad, which means this minion horde's going to crush me. Poison spell, please. Something, anything 
Skeletons, please don't activate that King Tower. Please don't activate that King Tower. Please don't activate that dang King Tower. Huh. Guys, I think we just completely messed up the game. This is going to be tough. This is going to be really, really tough. Baby Dragon to help out against this Musketeer. Skeletons to help out as well. Tornado's going to go in right now. Oh, man. We just got completely obliterated in this battle. We're going to lose tower number one. What a terrible start to the game. Yeah. Well. Well. I went way too aggressive. I saw a giant in one lane, and I went crazy on the other side. I got to admit, I sort of lost my marbles right there. And because of that, this guy just completely owned us and put us at a negative... Very negative start to begin this game. Now, not, all is not lost. People tend to get way too confident after they take down the first tower. So that's what I'm going to bank on. I'll start with my bowler. Let's see if we can get some sort of bowler tornado action going. Maybe bowler baby dragon tornado to deal with the giant mega minion as well as the musketeer. And maybe this is going to be what we need to hopefully end up securing our first tower of the game. Now, we will have to cut through this giant, which could prove to be very troublesome. So I'll get ready with my baby dragon momentarily. There's the baby dragon predicting that minion horde. I knew it was coming. Let's go ahead and take that out. Here goes his musketeer right here. So I'm going to suck everything together so my baby dragon has a chance of doing work. But still, that musketeer is going to do its best. But in the end, no one's really going to make any sort of lead right here. And uh, we're just going to have to see if we can make something happen eventually. But for now, it looks like we're going to have to just settle with an even little trade right there. Let's get ready once again in a moment. And since he's doing the miner, I'm going to do the night graveyard. I don't care about that miner. That miner damage is going to be completely pointless. Let's get our poison spell going down. I was predicting the minion horde. That's why I played it in front of his set of three minions. Instead, that's obviously not going to be the case. Skeleton's going to go down. We did end up taking his tower fairly low, though. So this isn't the end of the world for us, guys. This is going okay. If we can get one more solid push going, this could be just what we need. Mega Minion's going to go down here. Miner's going to go down. Let's play our Skeletons. That's going to distract the Miner. All in all, a really nice defense from us, guys. Really nice defense. We need to kill this Giant, though. How did that Giant get so much damage off? This is going to be exactly what we need. Check this out. Graveyard's going down right now. Let's see if we can do this. Let's see if he plays his minion horde. If he plays his minion horde, we can actually go ahead and use... Oh, he's going to bring his tornado to bring us towards his tower. That's going to be perfect for us, guys. This giant's going to go down right here. This is just what we needed to get ourselves back in the game. Like I said, people get way too confident. I'm wasting elixir. Let's play this right here. Getting ready for my mega minion against potential, actually, skeletons. Let's play a, let's play a mega minion baby dragon right here. Okay, well, this is going to be just fine. Just fine right now. And let's set up a push on the other side of the map. Here's going to be the push right here. Graveyard's going down. Mega Minion on the other side is tanking for us. Baby Dragon has gone down. Check out the Graveyard push right now. He's going to play a Miner. This dude is so desperate right now. Everything's locking onto his tower. We're dragging the Skeletons towards it. And just like that, keeping calm and clashing on is going to give us win number two. No matter what happens in the beginning of a battle, guys. You saw I stayed calm. I didn't get a little ridiculous. I just kept my cool. And that ended up giving us win number two. And uh, that was just what we needed. Two completely crazy battles. The first one, we obviously won by 9 HP. The second one, we ended up winning just by keeping our calm after giving up that first battle for free. And let's go ahead and keep pushing. Let's make our way towards champion, guys. This is our time to shine. And let's start off with some skeletons, but I don't really have anything else I can do. So skeletons are down. Knight's going to follow it up. He's going to play his own set of skeletons. And let's see how this game begins. His P.E.K.K.A. is going to go down. Wow. So let's actually go ahead and make that into a push right now. Graveyard Baby Dragon is going to be our push. Let's see if we can get something going. Graveyard's going to do a nice job. Baby Dragon's going to do a nice job, too. Obviously, I'm sort of going a bit crazy by not defending against this P.E.K.K.A. So that's going to be something I have to do. And let's see how we want to do it. Um, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to do Skeletons. I'm going to suck this Musketeer together so it doesn't just crush my tower. I'm hoping, at least. I need my knight. I need my knight. I need my knight. Please, knight. Please kill this P.E.K.K.A. Please kill this P.E.K.K.A. Please kill this P.E.K.K.A. Oh, we killed the P.E.K.K.A. just barely. But that does mean the baby dragon's going to get free reign on our tower, which is absurd. And we're going to have to play our own baby dragon to counter that, which this goblins are going to rush us. These, left, these two elixir goblins can be so good if used right. Fireball is going to be a little bit antsy from him, but after a crazy start to the game, once again, we put ourselves in a big disadvantage, and we have to find a way to come back. Now, that's not going to be too big of an issue. I think if we can get, get catch him off guard with a graveyard push at the right time, we're actually going to be A-OK. -okay. But let's use our Mega Minion right here to deal with the Musketeer. I don't have a better play. It's all I got right now. And let's get ready. Let's get ready for whatever he's got. If he, I'm hoping he plays a P.E.K.K.A. down the right-hand lane again. Because if he does that, I'll give up that right-hand tower and I'll take his left-hand tower in return. He's probably going to just use his Goblin Gang like that. I'm going to give up this tower, actually. I don't want to use any elixir to defend it because I feel like there's really no point. 
Right now, there goes his P.E.K.K.A. down this side of the map. And this is where we're going to have to make some moves. So here goes here goes our play right here. Now, this P.E.K.K.A. is going to get really caught up by our graveyard right here. Baby Dragon's going to go down right now. Let's go ahead and play our Poison. Hopefully, this does some work for us. Knight's going to go down. Bowler's going to bowl into the tower, but actually end up a little bit short. So that's not going to work out perfectly. But we're still damaging the tower a little bit. But the Bowler, just being a little bit out of range, is going to crush our hopes and dreams right now. So we've got to get ready again. Let's use the tornado right now to suck everything together. Skeletons as well. And this is, a uh, yeah, this is going to be pretty rough. And let's see. All right, let's go in. Let's go for another push right now. Everything's going down. We need to kill this goblin gang. If he plays the goblin gang, we have to knock it out right now. Pekka's going to go down on our bowler. That bowler is going to get obliterated. The baby dragon was perfect defense against our push right now. We need to find a way to keep this together, but I don't know if we have a chance, really. These goblins are going to be brutal. The goblins are going to start taking us out. We have to find a way. We have to find a way right now, guys. This P.E.K.K.A. is going to do its thing. We have to find a way in a moment. This has to be it. Let's go right now. Let's go right now. Night. Graveyard. This has to be the push right here. Six seconds left on the clock. I feel like it's not going to be enough, though. Four seconds left. Three seconds left. Could it be enough? Oh, we got the tower! It was actually enough! I was giving up on the game, but we actually ended up taking the tower with half of a second left, guys. What in the world is happening inside of these battles? Here's the P.E.K.K.A. Let's bring the P.E.K.K.A. down here. He's going to get all crazy like that. Let's bring the P.E.K.K.A. down. Check this out. He is totally freaking out right now. He's dropping way too much stuff trying to take me out. His P.E.K.K.A. is going to go down. Wait, no. We need to suck this P.E.K.K.A. back. Suck this P.E.K.K.A. back. Oh, he triple his zap spell trying to kill us. This is so close. Uh, man, the only thing is we haven't damaged either of his towers. Which, as you can tell, is not good. That is a not good way to play Clash Royale, guys. I'm going to tell you that right now. Let's go ahead and do Graveyard plus Baby Dragon. Maybe this can be the push we need. Maybe this can be the push we need. Pekka's going to go down. we got to find a way. we got to find a way. Here goes this right here. Let's suck everything together right here. Meanwhile, on the other side, oh no, we're losing massive amounts of reinforcements. Knight's going to go down. We have to distract this Pekka. We have to distract this Pekka. Please, Musketeer, die. Someone, anyone. Bowler. I need the bowler. I need the bowler. Wow. Three straight, ridiculously close games, guys. Able to pull out the draw right there with a last-second comeback, but that's definitely not a way you want to play Clash Royale. Number one deck in the world worked out pretty decently for me. Those battles were at least intense, guys. I'm making a big push this season. Hopefully, we can make our way super far up there. I really feel like we have a good shot, especially having free days at the end of the season. Hopefully, you guys will be cheering me on, and that is going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.